In Peter, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 23, we read, Who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. To the shepherd, there is little of greater beauty than a beautifully formed lamb. To watch the gentle lamb grow and develop into a healthy, productive you is the most satisfying sense of accomplishment. Seeing that animal, an animal of deep value and beauty, innocently being led to a place of death is a heart-wrenching and emotional experience. Imagine the heart of the father. He offered his dear son, co-equal member of the Trinity, as a sacrifice for humanity's disobedience. The perfectly formed Lamb of God, a sinless sacrifice. The Holy God, quietly, without complaint, becomes the offering for humanity. The shepherd grieves the loss of his special you. The father turns away from the suffering of his son. Yet, that offering, that perfect sacrifice, perfectly offered and perfectly accomplished, provides the opportunity for the greatest rejoicing in the world. Shepherd of tender youth, the writer said, guiding in love and truth through devious ways, Christ, our triumphant King, we come thy name to sing and hear our children bring to join thy praise. Thou art our holy Lord, O all subduing word, healer of strife, thou didst thyself abase, that from sin's deep disgrace thou mightest save our race and give us life. Ever be thou our guide, our shepherd, and our pride, our staff and song, Jesus, thou Christ of God, by thy enduring word lead us where thou hast trod. Make our faith strong, wrote Clement of Alexandria. May the beauty of his perfect sacrifice be reflected in my redemptive life. Thank you.